So I was listening to a really good podcast recently, another one of Andy's podcasts, but this time he had something of a legend from the GLL forums on there. Uh, he's a guy called Senor Peppers is the, the name he goes by on GLL. And I recognized him. Uh, I didn't expect to see him go on the podcast, to be honest, but I recognized him from his name. He was a guy that did like a really good job of improving himself and we got to watch his journey through his logs and all those and all that stuff like if you come onto these forums one of the best resources you're going to find as a beginner or someone who wants to get better is the forums of experienced guys guys who are ahead of you and you can usually if they've done a good log read it from like the beginning of their journey and see how they've improved what which things they had to work hard at which things the mindset they had to get into the things they had to do just the sheer amount of effort it takes to improve yourself for the sake of dating uh, specifically. And then uh, there are guys who are building businesses as well, which to be honest, looks even harder. So that's why, that's why I recommend guys come on the forums in some ways, just to, just to see it's possible by seeing other guys' logs. There's something he brought up though in his, in his talk with Andy that I wanna talk about, and that's the concept of like when you should move on. Because he pointed out that a lot of guys move on too early and they move, probably move on or move away from the goals they set for the wrong reasons, maybe because they, they get, someone's got sick of the grind, uh, they're not seeing the results they want, they're not seeing the immediate gratification that they are after. And there's definitely bad reasons for guys. Some guys move on because it's too hard. I think that's definitely true. I think especially with the dating goals, some guys move on from what they're capable of far too early not because they were satisfied, but because they think they can improve like by going around the goal. So like the only way to really get good with girls is to keep approaching, get yourself better looking and talk to more girls. That's literally what we say. It's look good, talk to a lot of girls. That's all you do. But then there are guys who are like, oh, I'm gonna build this giant business empire, become a millionaire and then girls will be easy. And then they'll, they'll jump off the bandwagon of like learning how to actually, you know, the process of dating, the process of actually getting girls, the process of looking good, and they'll sacrifice everything to then go and build a business. And a lot of these guys will have like shiny object syndromes. They'll be jumping from one goal to the other. They'll go and do three months of hard work trying to come up with a business idea. And then they'll realize they're not getting laid and they'll jump back to that again. And really all you see is guys just jumping around different goals. I do want to say that you can move on and you will move on. Those two things are, you are allowed to move on and you will at some point. You don't just do this forever. At least most guys won't just be doing this shit forever. And it's important that you do that for the right reasons. So it's important to some extent that you have like a wealth of experience, that you aren't going to be sitting on like a four month dry spell because you're working so hard. Uh, and then start resenting the fact that you're not getting laid and start like, you know, getting that itch. Obviously, if you've had your fill and you've gained the experience you need, you gain the security, sorry, you gain all the experience and you gain obviously the knowledge of what you've achieved, but you also gain the security of knowing that if you need to go and dip your toe back in the waters, you'll be able to find what you want in terms of like sex or relationships quite easily because you already have those skills and you already look good enough. That's why it's good to get this stuff sorted. So when you move on, make sure that you know you're good enough to jump back in and make sure that you've had your fill. That's what I would say. Knowing when to move on is gonna be different for everyone. So I couldn't really give any advice of when that is. Like I have recently moved on in the last six months or so away from like having dating and girls as my main goal. I don't really put more than like 20% of my weekly energy into that as an endeavor. Like this week's been different actually. I went on three dates this weekend and that's very rare for me recently. Like I try and typically only go on like two dates a week at most. So three dates in two days has been like, I've had to put a lot of work to the side and I feel bad about it. Like I get that guilt of not working. Uh, I get procrastination. When I've got a date in the afternoon, I'll probably, I usually procrastinate and not get the work I need to get done before it. So it kind of upends my life. So. Yeah, nowadays I'm, I'm very much, I, I feel more guilty about not doing the work towards my like my projects than I do about not going out and getting, trying to get laid. So that's how, that's how I know I've moved on. Like I, one thing grinds on me more than the other one does. But yeah, it's a different point for everyone. Use your like, you'll know, like I think people will know, but just don't do it for the wrong reason. Don't do it because it's hard and you think, 
that you'll be able to get like an easy life doing something else. There's only one way of really doing it. It's a numbers game. You gotta look good. You gotta have no fear of like talking to women. Those are the two things you gotta work on if you wanna get laid more. And obviously building a good Tinder, that helps as well. All right guys, peace out for this one.